name is Gabriel, and we're basically demanding uh, our health benefits uh, so they can cover more of what they're offering and uh, pay raise. Comparing ourselves to other engineers, we get an 80 cents on the dollar. So yeah, we're getting the short end of the stick here. They just gave their uh, CEOs nine million dollars. So the money's there. Um, they need to invest in their, their employees. Uh, basically, we saved them a bunch of money. Been here for 13 years. We are on strike for wages, wage disparity between uh, us and the rest of the local 39 uh, members in San Francisco. They make enough money, they've moved enough assets around, I think uh, as far as financially they've got a good grasp on you know, how to keep the business going in this downturn. Uh, why they won't pay us, it just it, it blows our mind. So we. That's why we're out here to figure out if they will pay us or not. And you're underpaid compared to other engineers? Yes. We yeah, that. we're 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 down at least 20% in some areas, you know, where they're going BOMA, we're down 25%. So we're just trying to get closer. We're not saying we have to, you know, clear the Grand Canyon in one leap, but for doing the same amount of work, you should be getting somewhere comparable to the same amount of pay. Equal work to equal. That's it, right? <laughs> how, how long have you been on strike? Uh, you been for two weeks now. Two weeks now, yeah. What's, the, what's, the, what's it been like? Uh, so this is my second time striking with Macy's, and it's never fun. But you know, you got to deal with people and their opinions. But in the end, I've got to make sure that I've got food on my table for my family. What was the first strike about? Same thing. Wages. And they were, we were taking concessions, so we just decided not to take concessions anymore. They took away the Union Medical, which was 10 times better than the medical they put us on. So we just couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. And how long are you prepared to stay out? Uh, as long as it takes, really. I mean, we've come this far. You know, when you come, when you, when you take it this far, it's basically a knockdown, drag out fight of who's gonna, who's gonna concede. So, you know, we've taken it into consideration and we're in it for the long haul. So if you come back three months and we're still here, we're still gonna be here. What's your name? <laughs> Fred. Okay. Yeah. Have you, have you had support from other unions? Uh, yes, we have a lot of a lot of unions. Teamsters have gotten behind us. So. Uh, it's uplifting, especially in this day and age, in this economy, you know, unions, unions are what fa has founded this country, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, you know, and the, and the right to be able to unionize is a big right here, you know? Uh, so I wish more younger people knew about unions and, you know, it's a great way to make a living and, you know, I, I actually have something in the, in the later days of your, your work career. Well, non-union engineers, what do they make? Well, they get to make what we make. <laughs> so if we were only making $35 an hour, the most a non-union engineer could make is $35 an hour. But because we're, we're trained and we go to school, that's where we get those BOMA rates where, you know, you pay the $65 an hour, but we all know the old saying, you get what you pay for. So how, how much schooling do you have to do? Uh, you go through a four-year apprenticeship usually and then uh, you know from there on it's always constant learning to keep up with the newest uh, electronics so so they want you to have those skills but they don't want to pay exactly exactly you know why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free being the low man on the totem pole as the wage disparity grows between boma and that low man you actually hurt the contracts and the negotiations uh, for your brothers and your sisters around you when they can go and say, oh, well, look, they're, I'm getting the same work over here for Macy's for, you know, $47 an hour and you're asking for another raise. So we, it, it kind of stinks being that, you know, that person who's bringing everybody down. So we're trying to get that going in the other direction. You know, it's, mo it's much bigger than just what Macy's is paying us. 
you know, I mean, that's what unions are about, right? <laughs> okay, and yeah. other, other interviews will be affected. If you... you know, in the end, it, it does. It's a, you know, it trickles down. If we keep going, sliding away from where everybody else is, we make that gap, you know, where they can offer in between their bigger and the, the tighter we can get it, the more they realize how strong the unions are. Check out the CEO's salary. So this time the target is the Global 39, the stationary engineers workers. They want to pay them less than the uh, standard wage, and we say no. So we are here. What kind of cat do you see? UFCW 5. For UFCW. Yeah. All right, how are you guys doing? I'm Tony. We have about 400 of Macy's workers inside right now. They've been coming out on their lunches and breaks supporting Local 39. Local 39 was there for us almost a year ago when we were having our fight. Macy's top three directors earned $9 million in bonuses three weeks after they laid off 25% of the workforce. Last year, over the last couple of years, not only did they get a $500 million tax break from Donald Trump, they sold three buildings for another $500 million and still refused to give their workers a decent wage. We're here to fight. We're going to stay out all day. We're going to be with you guys every day to show our support. To the front, when you take on a corporation like this, it's no small task. And when the members put their lives and the lives of their families in your hands, that's a heavy and tall task and a tall burden. But we're here to tell you, brother, the San Francisco labor movement, we stand on the line with 39. All right, all right. Uh, first off, let's see, my name is Bart Florence. I'm the business manager of 39. We cover uh, most of Northern California. And uh, uh, we want to thank each and every one of you for coming out. Anybody who thinks that the labor movement is getting weak, uh, look around right now. They can go to hell. We are all in this together. <laughs> The, the group from Macy's is a group that started out about 70 people that go all the way from Northern California up to the border and over to Reno. Um, Macy's laid them all off earlier this year and started bringing them back thinking they would accept a substandard agreement. And they made it really easy for us to, to tell them no and go on strike. They thought like in 2008, everybody was just going to make concessions and walk away with their tail between their legs. But enough is enough. They, they have this, it's all about corporate greed and we're sick and tired of them trying to take advantage of the workers, us and you. So they made it so easy for us just to say no, that we're going to go out. Nobody thought it made any sense to go out during the COVID uh, crisis and do this. Well, we do. On behalf of our workers and on behalf of anybody else who is facing this with Macy's or anybody, uh, any other employer, we all have to stand up and fight for what's right. They're taking their piece. All we ask is for a fair shake. And that's what we're here for. These guys are going to march around for whatever it takes. We may end up, uh, we all did the flagship store, but these guys are coming from Reno, from outside of Fresno. Um, they are all over. It's a traveling crew coming here. We may move a little bit to some of the other stores to show Macy's, but we're going to tell them they can stick it where the sun don't shine because it's time that these guys... <laughs> these guys have a good, fair contract, and it's always about the same thing. Cutting the health care or making them pay more and cutting the wages. We're sick and tired of it. So I cannot thank you on behalf of myself and all of the members of Local 39 that work for Macy's and the members of 39 in general. We cannot thank you enough for what you're doing for us. And uh, we'll be there for you as well. Just let us know. Thank you very much. So we're out here because they're only offering 20% uh, less on our contract compared to a standard BOMA contract. They're only giving us 80 cents for the next three years on our pension off of whatever we also had. And then they're giving us no health care. So some of us are only paying $1,200 to $1,600 a month in like paying for our insurance. We don't. We just have to put in whatever we can every month, basically. Some of us, I know, don't have health care. We're just making out however we can. Um, 4,000 employees were fired about a month and a half ago. They gave six executives $9 million in bonuses right after they fired all those people. 
They let go of 17 of us right before we came back three weeks ago, I believe, about four weeks ago. And they gave us two weeks worth of the paychecks and they said, hey, do you want uh, to keep on getting these paychecks? It'd be nice, right? During COVID, we said, yeah, but we're not going to take this terrible deal. So that's why we're out here on a strike. Who's doing Who's taking your job? Nobody. This is, a, this is a completely like union store, so nobody can cross here unless they're like coming before 7 a.m. or they're coming, uh, I mean, if they're coming before 11 in the morning or like 7 p.m. after that. Or if we're out here, we try and stop them. We've stopped UPS trucks, we've stopped like some FedEx trucks and stuff like that. So you have solidarity with other unions? Yeah, yeah. We have, um, it's sanctioned, so if anybody crosses it's a union member, we tell them, don't come in here, and we try and stop them the best we can. I mean, they're not forcing us. We've chosen to do it. Uh, they respect the fact that we are doing it. They're keeping it, you know, civil, basically, for the most part. But they just want to try and give their money to the shareholders. That's the big thing for them. They're, it's never about it's about putting it to the store so it looks nice, and then giving money back to the shareholders. It's not for the people who are doing the work for them. How long have you worked for them? I've been here 10 years now. Some of us have been here 10, 15, 20, 25 years. Yeah, I understand the last fight was over health care issues too. Right? Yeah, that was 2006, and that was health care and pay as well. We used to have the same kind of contract called the BOMA contract as everybody else. Um, and then it kind of progressively got worse. Some people retired, and they just voted on whatever they could, so it got worse again. But now this year, everybody just said no more, no more, because they're trying to offer us so so little that the union could drop us if they wanted to. They can go in and work, but like on the breaks come out, so all the associates, they're also all union members. So they come out here on our breaks, and they said they can go back in and work if they want. They have joined us a couple times. Uh, I think like our first weekend, the janitorial housekeeping, they were out here with us too. Bobby, they, they want to give us, a, you know, a certain wage. It's like we wouldn't see any difference in our wages if you know, because the medical is really going to eat it up and stuff. But 20% below, also uh, compared to other unions and stuff, you know. This, this is my first strike, so we're just trying to get a fair wage, you know, just try to try and keep up with the with the going rate of what's going around the Bay Area and the city too. Yeah. I've been, I was there on the last strike too, so it was pretty much the same issues, just trying to get fair wages and, and better health care. How long did that strike go on? That went for about 21 days. So, yeah. So, hopefully, we'll get, have a short short period this time. All right, who's sick of corporate greed? Yeah. Who's sick of corporate greed? Yeah. I'm tired of this shit. I'm disgusted by this corporate greed that's taking place in this country right now. Make no mistake, there's a war on workers right now. There's a war on workers. There's legislation, there's Supreme Court judges that are being appointed, National Labor Relations Board, board members that are being appointed, all to fight unions and working class people. And I for one am sick of it. And I want Local 39 and everybody that's here to know that if you're gonna fight any union in San Francisco, you're gonna fight all unions in San Francisco. that they gave a large bonus to their executives uh, but won't 
give their uh, working class people a living wage that they're trying to take money from their health insurance and everything else and pass all the expenses on to the people that are maintaining the facility. Yeah. So. Is there support for this strike? Um, I think the general public have been honking, you know, they've been around and uh, people come by, everybody generally seems happy, you know. So I'd say yeah. And how long have you been on strike? Uh, what is, I think we're a little bit over two weeks now. I'm not sure exactly which day we started, it's kind of blurring together. Uh, they had money for their executives? Really That's what I understand, yeah, there's, you know. No issue giving big bonuses to the executives, but uh, you know, can't keep up with uh, the other uh, people of similar trades around, you know. And so, you know, we're just fighting to make sure the working class isn't forgotten, even though we have COVID and all the other struggles that are going on. Um, you know, we're not going to let them get away with that as being an excuse.